Hi, in this part, I will show you the computer opened. And guess, what I found. When I bought the computer, it was supposed to comes with all parts, and supposed to be unopened beyond the only two things should be missing were the memory and the hard disk. When I opened the computer, I saw directly signs of previous attempt to fix or to open the computer. Two things took my attention directly. First I found some cooling past on the motherboard. And the screw for the mounting the processor was abused. I marked the places that make it obvious that the computer was opened before. That was bad. Let's start to take apart the rest of the laptop and see what we find under the heatsink. Surprise! There was no CPU there. Oops. I needed to find a CPU that will be compatible with the laptop. I managed later to find a suitable CPU. But when I put the CPU and placed the heatsink again, the behavior of the computer remained the same as in part 1 of the video. The laptop gets started but no screen and the LED flashes. The CPU was cold, which means that it wasn't working. What could cause that? The standby power was reaching the power button since it was trying to start the computer when you pressed the power button. Is it time to look at the schematic? No, really. It is always good to physically look at the PCB. And try to find any physical damages that could be visible on the motherboard.